Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to another Crystal Opening Commentary brought to you by the Grandmaster Empire's own Mr. Sphy Rooster, otherwise known as the Sphinx. So I have no idea, as always, what we're about to look at, but we're starting with a legendary unified crystal, which, I've got to be honest, I have not really seen anybody I know get a 5-star out of this. I certainly didn't. So let's um, see what happens. It would be a legendary pull if you got a 5-star. You're going to fake out the reel and not have it. Be oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, another 4-star. I feel like for those crystals, it's not like a 20% drop rate for 5-star. It's more like a 2% drop rate. I'm sure there are people who've gotten it, but I know so many more people who haven't. All right, now the main attraction, right? The 5-star unified crystal. Yeah, there we go. Uh, same thing. Oh, Iron Man Infinity War. That's exactly who I got. And mine was at SIG 10 because I'd used an Awakening Gym on him a long time ago. And so then I went to SIG um, 30, obviously. All right. So he was going to go featured, but now is it six five-star crystals? I don't know. He looks a little indecisive. Starting off with just a basic. Oh, we're getting a batch of five. Okay, you've got a little tradition. I see you. All right, I think from a batch of six, I would expect about one real decent champion. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes. So this is a really good realistic opening. Here you have Thing, who is amazing. One of the best new champions in the game. 2019 is, of course, the Fantastic Four celebration, and that is awesome. Now Masakre got a dupe. Ronan got a dupe. Potato Head got a dupe. University of Phoenix is new, and there's another one that's new that we don't know yet. But uh, this is a realistic opening. You have Masakre, who's really, really good. Thing, who's a top-tier champ. Ronin, who's a miss. Phoenix, who's a miss. And Potato Head, who's just, you know, okay. Now, who's the new champ to the right? Oh, okay. This is officially a much better than average opening. Way to go, man. You got Thing and Void, two of the best science champs in the game in the same batch of six. And Masakre, that's awesome. I'm thankful that it's not just 100% hits because we have seen lately uh, in Crystal Opening commentaries on my channel, we have seen it's like, oh, I got five five stars, and it's Namor, Cole, Blade, Stark, Spidey, and Ghost Rider. And then people just want to, you know, quit. But, yeah, that's really awesome and realistic. Okay, so you awaken Potato Head. You got another Awakening, and is it Triple Awakening? That's awesome. Three Platinum Stars for the first time. So Phoenix was really the only quote-unquote dud, and people say, Prof, what about Prestige? I don't think Prestige is so worth it that you take up a champion that's not very good. It's just my uh, personal opinion. I'm sure the people at the very, very top would disagree, but I am not, nor will I ever want to be at the very, very top of uh, the community in this game. And then Six Star Psylocke. You know... I did a crystal opening commentary recently where I talked about six star Black Bolt. I feel like six star Psylocke is about the same. Like, not a terrible champion, but I'd never take her to rank two. So, in the end, it's somebody I'm probably just going to use for arena points, and that's about it. I'm not saying she's terrible by any means. She's a great power control champion, but there are better power control champions out there. And unlike, uh, say, Black Bolt with the Medusa synergy, I don't really know too many people that run Psylocke with a specific Synergy team. That's not to say that those aren't out there, but it's just a little bit less than the norm. So this was a really interesting opening overall. I think that certainly you have the realistic dream scenario of getting Thing and Void, two of the best science champs in the game, in the same batch of six. And then some misses like Phoenix and certainly the six stars of miss. So this is a realistic opening for the Sphinx, as I guess I'll call him. So there you go. Shout out to uh, who I shouted out for you. And at the same time, I hope you enjoyed this commentary as always. Like this summoner, if you would like me to commentate one of your openings, I'd be happy to do it. But it's going to take at least five five stars and hopefully one or two six stars or dungeon crystals or other things. But please don't send me like one five star and four four stars. It's just not, um, it's not worth it. I don't think it really is worth the average viewer's time, and I really do try to keep that in mind, which is also why I try to keep these videos short well under 10 minutes. So thanks for watching again, YouTube. Have a good one, and thank you to this summoner, Mr. Sphinx, for submitting the uh, video to commentate. I always love doing this, and this is a pretty realistic, though better than average opening 
for this summoner. Not the most amazing, but not trash either, and uh, that gives you some hope, but also keeps it fairly grounded, particularly with the six star.